think often we've been taught um, that if our mind wanders, that, you know, it, it, it's not good. Um, it's, it's not a good thing. But the truth is that mind wandering is actually essential. Um, and unfortunately, we tend to not give ourselves enough time to just be and let our minds wander. Overworking, never have time, you know, all of those things that kind of add up. Um, but the truth is that we desperately need sustained periods of reflection, just mind wandering, deep thought um, that we don't often allow ourselves to have. And letting your mind wander is not really a crumbling of attention, as many of us might think, but it is, in fact, a crucial form of attention in its own right. So you might have experienced how if you allow your thoughts just your thoughts just to float, you often find unexpected connection. I don't know if any of you have, have experienced this before. Um, and this is something that I typically experience when, when I'm on holiday, right? With no agendas, I just sit and stare. I just allow my mind to wander while I'm maybe overlooking the ocean, you know. And in these times, I often I'm amazed to, to see how I then come up with really good new ideas, you know, and make connections that I haven't previously made and, and realize things maybe about myself or have clarity in terms of how I can go forward, with something that I maybe felt stuck with. No, so it's actually so powerful and it's part of optimizing focus. And unfortunately, as you've seen, um, if we continue to be a society of people who are severely underslept, you know, we're overworked, um, we switch tasks every few minutes, we're distracted um, all the time, um, and we might be very stressed and we become hypervigilant, we eat diets that cause our energy to spike and crash. Um, we're breathing in a soup of our brain inflaming toxins. Then yes, you know, um, it's, we can kind of expect a society with some attention problems, right? 